Let's go racing off at turn number four. We are green. James McFadden out to the early race lead. Brad Sweet tries to run the bottom. They did move those tractor tires in right before this feature event rolled off. Sweet looks for a big slider to turns three and four, comes up short, and James McFadden will lead lap number one. Abreu and Marks closing in on McFadden and Sweet. Traffic up the road now. Chase Park now the first car that McFadden will encounter. Here comes Brad Sweet off the bottom. The bottom of the racetrack at turn number two looks to be pretty good. McFadden now hits the deck and turns three and four. Tries to hit the inside of the racetrack and he does. McFadden now trying to size up your lap cars here. See what he can do. Goes to the bottom and one and two. Opens up the top lane. Here comes Brad Sweet. He takes the lead down the back straightaway. Brad Sweet takes the lead on lap number nine. And here comes Abreu now. Abreu looking underneath the McFadden for P2. James McFadden now coming back after the 49 car, back into turn number one. Sweet runs the bottom. He gets loose right there. McFadden with a run down the back stretch, back to the outside of the Napa Auto Parts 49. Brad Sweet up the racetrack. McFadden crosses him up, and McFadden takes the lead back across the line. James McFadden back to the top spot, hits the bottom real nice right there in one and two, and pulls away a little bit from Brad Sweet. What a corner right there from McFadden. Now Sweet, he gets into him. They get together. McFadden flips out of the ballpark in turn four. The wing flies off, and he is out there in the cow pasture. James McFadden, after contact with Brad Sweet, has flown off the racetrack, and McFadden is climbing out of the race car, and that is a great sign to see as James McFadden has climbed from the Roth Enterprises number 83 car and is talking to safety officials outside the racetrack in turn number four. The former teammates with Casey Kane Racing with Mike Curb get together racing for the top spot in turns three and four and mcfadden is taking a seat right there abreu looking for win number one of 2024 he gets a great restart right there alongside of brad sweet as they work back into turn number one sweet runs the middle gets the cushion on the exit brent marks momentarily takes second from the 24 of rico abreu we'll see if marks has the bottom wired it looks like off a of turn number four it's very good he pulls up alongside the 24 car down the front straightaway cannot make the pass he might have it this time they're three wide for the lead off of turn number two a three car battle for the top spot here at salina high bank speedway and brent marks no he's not going to have it now rico on the back bumper of brad sweet down the front straightaway rico works back to the outside sweet runs the middle and marks runs the top three different lines of racing as they work one and two great race going on for fourth as well between zeb wise tanner holmes and brian brown brad sweet now stretching it out a little bit here as brent marks and rico try and settle it amongst themselves for that second position marks has it down the back straightaway brent marks up to second rico trying to peek back to the inside and turns one and two car around and off the track i believe red flag waving yes i cannot tell I believe that is Brenham Crouch, the car that is upside down. Yes, that is the case, and he is way out of the racetrack. He is out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. Brenham Crouch is okay. He is walking away from the race car as he has flipped out of the park into turn number one. So bottom left, bottom left of your screen right here, and Brenham Crouch, and here he goes. So he just, it looks like he almost forgot to, turn or something i feel like something had to break right there i mean I, brandon crouch uh was running pretty decent right there he was in 13th position and we are back underway brent marks a great restart right there stays within a car length of now 49 cars they went back into turn number one sweet and marks run the bottom rico tries the top and it's going to cost him as brian brown circled the bottom real nice right there and one and two he moves into the third spot the casey is 21 now he gets driven around on the outside by rico abreu so abreu was fourth and then he was third for about a half a lap there, back in the podium position for Rico. Here comes the 7BC into the picture as well. Tyler Courtney from 20th and now looking for P6 down the front straight away. Tyler Courtney from way in the back of the field gets by Jacob Allen, gets by Brian Brown, and Tyler Courtney's down into the top five. Tyler Courtney absolutely ripping the lip off of turn number four to get by two cars the last time by the line. Sunshine now working on the 26 of Zeb Wise, and he's going to pass him down the back straightaway. It's Tyler Courtney now up to fourth. Zeb says no for now. Slides up in front of him, takes the air off the nose. Tyler Courtney not able to cross underneath him, and Zeb Wise still has fourth down the front stretch. White flag, one to go for Brad Sweet. Sweet still behind the 5T of Ryan Sims. Brett Marks works to the outside. He's going to need a monster run. It's not going to happen as they work down the... Oh, we got... A problem, car off the pace, the caution's out.
It looks like Chase Randall in turn number two. Here's a replay from the speed shot on the front straightaway. Oh, man. Great shot right there from the guys at Flow Racing to get that. Green flag comes back out. Marks does get a good start. Where does he go into turn number one? Sweet goes to the bottom, and Marks immediately to the top. He gets a good run down the back straightaway. This time by, they'll come to the white, and Brent Marks tries to throw a slider at Brad Sweet for the top spot, comes up short, and Sweet will lead at the white flag. Brent Marks gave it all he had right there, but came up short. A close call for Sweet as he nearly caught the right rear tire of the M&M Painting and Construction number 19. Off of turn number four, Brad Sweet, two in a row with Kubota High Limit Racing. Brent Marks second, Rico Avery third, fourth goes to Jacob Allen, and fifth from 21st, Tyler Courtney inside the top five.